Hi, and welcome to this lesson on what is a theme. With this lesson, you will differentiate between a theme and a plugin, discover the possibilities of a WordPress theme, and explore the fundamental structure of a block, classic, and hybrid theme. So let's dive in. Now let's differentiate between a theme and a plugin. Essentially, the difference between a theme and a plugin is that themes control the presentation of content and plugins control the behaviors and features of your site. What are the possibilities of a WordPress theme? You can get inspiration by visiting the wordpress.org themes directory. When you're ready to start designing your theme, you'll have to put some thought towards colors, fonts, layouts, and features. Start by selecting one base color and at least one complementary color to be used throughout your theme. A tool like this found on Canva can be helpful. Next, for your fonts, you can navigate over to Google Fonts, do a search, and find the right fonts for your theme. Back here in the WordPress.org themes directory, we can see a list of layouts that theme developers normally include in their themes. And finally, this list here demonstrates the vast amount of functionality or features that you can include in your theme. How will your theme encourage engagement? A popular way to encourage engagement is by using bright colored call to action buttons, as you can see in these two examples. What considerations will your theme have regarding accessibility? An easy way for you to get started would be to make sure that you have sufficient contrast between the color of your text and the color of your background. What functionality will your theme include? For a block theme, what blocks, patterns, and media will you give your end users access to? Now let's explore the fundamental structure of a block, classic, and hybrid theme. The 2024 theme is a good example of a block theme. Block themes use blocks for all parts of the site, including navigation menus, headers, content, and footers. You can see here we mainly have HTML and JSON files. For a classic theme, the 2020 theme is a great example. Classic themes don't use the block editor to manage the site layout beyond posts and pages. You can see here we mostly have PHP files. A good example of a hybrid theme is the 2021 theme. A hybrid theme is a classic theme that adopts some features of site editing. You can see here that they added theme support for block styles. You can read more about getting started with theme development by referring to the quick start guide on wordpress.org. 